Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you blower motor replacement on this uh, O2 GMC Sierra. Uh, this procedure is exactly the same for any 99 to O2 Silverado or Sierra as well as 2000 to 2002 uh, Tahoe Suburban Yukon and Yukon XL. It's also similar for the O3 and up uh, trucks, O3 to 10 or 11 trucks that have the twist-in style motor. The only tools you'll need are a 7mm and 732s inch sockets with a ratchet and a small extension. On the passenger side there are four 7mm bolts to remove. One there, uh, one in there. There's one up in that hole right there. can't really video it. And then over here closer to the gas pedal uh, there is one right there. And once you remove those bolts, just reach in, kind of pull it down and out of the way. And up underneath, this is the shield for the um, fan. So there's a bolt here, and then there's one that I can't really film directly opposite of it. Just kind of feel up in there for it. And these are 732s bolts. And you want to remove them both. So you can see I have a little extension on my ratchet and socket. You really need that. Okay, just fast forward here as I'm turning the wrench and then eventually it comes out easy enough that I can put my hand up in there and uh, turn it the rest of the way out with, uh, with my fingers. Okay, so there's the bolt. I'm going to move this one here. And you can see your, well, you probably can't see, but okay, now you can see up in there is your um, connection, your harness connection. And you can usually just kind of stick your finger in there. And press the tab. And pull that out. Okay. That allows your shield to come down. Okay, now looking up in there, at this point there's actually a tab right here. Okay, you need to pull down on that tab. Okay, I'm going to reach up in with this hand and this finger. I'm pulling down on the tab and then I'm twisting the motor. And it twists and comes right down and out. And apologies for that camera work. I didn't realize until after I'd shot it that I didn't get a very good view of that. Um, but basically you pull down on that tab that I showed you before and then you twist the motor. Um, it would be counterclockwise to, and then it'll come down and out. So this truck is kind of a video mule, so we're just going to put the original one back in because it's actually working fine. And so you just kind of push it up, work it up in there, make sure nothing gets in the way here. Push the motor up in and then spin it. Okay, 
until it's nice and secure. And now put the wire through your shield and then connect it. You can do that either way. You can put the shield up in there first. I find this just a little bit easier. Shield push it up into place. Start this bolt first. Easy to reach up in here to feel your other. Kind of do it by feel. Get that one started. Okay, and the final part is to put your uh, cover back in place. Um, you want to push it up in there. Um, you push it kind of against the firewall first. And I'm sorry about shaking around a little bit here. Um, just trying to film with one hand and push it up in there with the other. Uh, push the front of it up and in first. And then make sure you have everything lined up. Okay, and as you can see here, um, there's the passenger side outlet holes. Make sure those are all lined up. And then start your um, end bolt here and then I'd recommend starting the one over near the driver's side. Um, once you have those lined up, then the other two middle ones go in pretty, pretty easily. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.